Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel, everybody. This is going to be one of the most important videos that I've ever done on my channel. But first, I got a couple of announcements to make. I gotta, gi I gotta give a couple of shoutouts. The first shoutout is to me. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's to me. You should subscribe to the channel. The second shoutout is also to me. If you have subscribed already, then hit the notification bell so you get notification. Now, the third shoutout is to a guy that I play in one of my videos. It's the video where I played against the pro player. I guess you could say he's a pro player because he's played in a, in a couple of FNFs before. He's got a Twitch channel and he, sh he asked me if I, if I could shout him out or, or I asked him if I should shout him out. He was very grateful. Of course, and he was very happy. And his link is going to be down in the description. Guess what? You can check him out. If you follow, he's going to start YouTube. And yeah, he's a really good dude. You should check him out. If the last and final shout out, obviously, the, if it's the last one, it's the final shout out, is to you guys. You guys have been leaving so many comments. They were they really heartwarming. And yeah, this just means a lot. I'm going to pop a, pop a couple of them on the screen right now. And while I do that, I want to talk about something else. Corona. I'm not talking about Corona on this channel because that's not my job. I've seen many other YouTubers being like, stay safe, stay at home, which is important, obviously. But I have, I have kind of avoided the conversation because I don't think that this is my job. And I shouldn't tell you, just know that I'm aware of what's happening and I want you guys to stay safe. But just And just because I'm not mentioning it in every video that I do, that I'm not repeating myself saying stay at home, stay at home, stay at home because... I think you guys get it, and I don't want to bore you with that. There are a lot of authorities out there saying it. You don't need me to say it. Just know that I hope you stay safe. And yeah, round of applause for that, Rice. <laughs> yeah, big, uh, good boy. Great regular in the building. Now, we're going to be talking about a route glitch. Quote, unquote, route glitch. I'm not the one that, fo that found this out. Shout out to a pro player, T. Davis. Going to link, leave his stuff in the description too. And he figured out how you can pretty much glitch the route system hard route system all you need to do right here is i'm going to be doing it for the bunch of defense defense offense bunch of offense also i'm going to be redoing my entire ebook i did a 40 minute video minute video on the gun bunch formation already i've learned a couple of things since then i've done a couple of videos but i want to do one large video about an hour to an hour 30 minutes long would be my guess just to show you guys Everything that I know about Gun Bunch, which because that w video is pretty much outdated by now, there are a lot of th have a lot of things, a lot of things have been found out. That's how you say it. I can English, and I want to update that. Just so you know, be ready for that. And yeah, we're gonna start by showing you how to swap routes. He, the pro player that did the video, he called it the route swap glitch, and I'm gonna call it that too because why not? The most important thing that you need to do for the way that I fi find it best in Gun Bunch is subbing a running back on this outside receiver spot. The, the gun bunch is not flipped. It's how it's right here. This is how it's how it looks on the play screen. You just play, press R1 and sub in a running back right here. Very important. It's not going to be an Eric Dickerson. You need somebody who was, who was pretty good at catching the football. James White is that for the Patriots. He's a pretty good receiving back. He's going to work just fine. Then we're going to call any play we want. We are going to start with wide receiver post. I would oh, I would run the play always flipped. Wide receiver post is just like that. And on defense, we're going to come out in the cover three. Just why not? Now, how... Okay, I'm, I'm going to do it. Uh, and then I'm going to explain to you how it works. So, boom. You see these two wide receivers. Switching. And now look. This looks crazy. I now I, now I can't even flip back anymore because now I have to run the play like this, and this is really powerful. I'm gonna explain to you why in a second. Can we egg him with a running back? We can't. We can't. Okay. So, what did I do there? You come out. You want to come out in the play that you want to run, obviously. Then you're going to press square, and audible to any play. It doesn't matter which. You're gonna audible back to the play original play anyways. You're gonna call, for example, verticals. Now you see these two players switching. Remember that? That's what they did when I showed it to you guys. Then we're going to reset the play once. Now everything looks normal. We're gonna reset the play twice. And you see how crazy that looks. Now, you'll see that I can even put different hard routes on number 28, James White. 
they are thinking that he's on the outside. Or no, I can. What do I want to say? They think that he's on the right side of the field. He is not. If I now put him on a slant route, you'll see that the slant route doesn't go to the inside, it goes to the outside. That's really glitchy. Because it still beats man coverage. And for example, what I can do is I can run a cover 3 beater like this. I just streak the square receiver that outside of the pocket there and pass lead it all the way. And he, Tom Brady, he has a noodle arm. I think that I could throw the ball better in real life than Tom Brady can in this video game. But you see that it still gets open. And that is why it's really glitchy. Something other that is very, very powerful about uh, this slant route, for example, and I'm gonna, once again, I'm gonna do a long video where I'm gonna explore every route combo that you can do with this glitch. I think it's a glitch. Um, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail here, but just so you know, you can even throw this as sort of like a corner route. It's really glitchy. It gets under deep zones. Obviously, it gets out there quicker than the flats can. It's really good. Just believe me that it's really good. Now, you can do many other things with that, obviously. We're going to switch on, on defense. We're going to switch to a cover two. And I'm going to show you how you can absolutely burn a cover two. Reset the play twice. It looks like that. And boy, let me tell you, I just got shit in there. God. God damn it. The fuck is up? Yeah, that, that was corny. Anyways, I'm going to try to not let that happen. Gonna spy these people. Reset the play twice. And now you're going to see how this. This is supposed to be a post route. That's not supposed to work. But you see that it gets wide open. And your opponent is gonna be really confused. Because I actually don't know how many views the video from T. Davis got. But I'm sure that it's not that many views. I'm sure that it's not like 20,000 people. Which. I mean, it's, it's gonna have more views than my video. But not a lot of people are gonna know about this. And as long as people don't know about this, this is going to be really glitchy. Your opponent is going to be really, really, really confused as to how you're doing it. You have this route combo. Now, if I wanna, for example, if I wanna put R1 on a drag, you're going to see that it still goes to the outside. Really glitchy. If I wanna put him on a zig, this, in my opinion, is even crazier. Look at that zig. <laughs> it goes to the inside. And yeah, it's really good. Really. If I ran up, if I ran up on this in 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 an online seasons game, I would be really, really, really confused as to how I should defend that. Once again, slants to the outside on both sides. The only person that is not glitched out is this door set. And what I would recommend you to do, you to do is I would get route runners or slot apprentices on door set and on Edelman in ultimate team on these two positions so that you can then run something along the lines of maybe maybe this you have and that would be for example a route combo that could work just like that and know if that cover three beater isn't there you can still throw that so you can really get really creative I think that with this glitch, there is no limit to the possibilities are endless. You can do whatever you want now, and I really like that. I'm gonna get into practice mode, explore all the different shits you can do, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Once again, make sure, make sure, shout out to me, <laughs> subscribe to the channel, and also second shout out, hit the bell. If you want to get the glitchiest offense, I'm here for you guys. Everything is free. Gun bunch. this is going to get, become so much better. I found, even found out some red zone dots sort of other formations, trips. Got a glitchy one there. Gonna share all of that with you guys. All the knowledge that I have about offense is gonna be in this video. Expect a long video. I'll maybe write it, even write it down too. See you in the next one. Peace. And once again, that game against uh, the top, top 25 weekend league player, check that out. He's usually even top 10. Check that out. Gonna link it at the end of the video. See you in the next one. Peace and stay tuned.